Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So you have seen me, if you've been watching me for any length of time, um, know that I had asked, uh, what do you guys think about some uh, meals in a jar? Well, today, of course, I was cruising along Facebook on my break, and I saw this guy, um, uh, I think it's the organizer man or something like that, something organizing. And he sometimes puts recipes out there for certain things. And I don't know for sure if you are a big fan of Hamburger Helper. Now, I remember back in the day, I don't know for sure if it was so much um, living at home or maybe once I first moved out. It's, it's been a while. I think everybody has ate Hamburger Helper. Um, we bought one it's probably two or three years ago now. And I don't know for sure if I just made it wrong or I don't know what happened. That was some of the grossest, nastiest stuff. We didn't even eat it. It was that bad. Um, so I'm always on the outlook, as you can see. Um, I've seen, I've done many uh, different ones that is like a faux um, hamburger helper. You know, like if you look at my stuff, I've got like chili mac and um, all sorts of different ones. So if you can avoid buying it and you can actually make it sometimes even cheaper because not only has the taste diminished greatly, I think the price, I mean, you used to buy um, Hamburg Helper for what, 50, 75 cents a box, maybe a dollar at the most. So it wasn't very expensive either. So that, you know, it made for a very super inexpensive meal. So I think that's one of the reasons why it was so popular that and like the tuna helper and so on and so forth. So I have um, my stuff around here ready to go. Now when I, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and make this tonight too from this, this jar. If it's successful, like I think it will be, I will make up a few jars just to have them in there. On quick nights, I just don't feel like cooking. I just don't feel like doing anything. And then this way, boom, it's put together. I can use my freeze-dried hamburger, my pre-frozen hamburger, whatever happens to be easiest that night, and then just get dinner done. So that might be an option for you too. So I'll bring it down here. I'll show you what I have out here. All right, now I have my wide mouth canning jar. It doesn't have to be a canning jar at all. Um, you could do it in like in a zipper bag if you do not have canning jars, but I have lots of canning jars. So it's two cups of noodles, okay? Now I'll be using this later, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this on the counter. Then it says um, a tablespoon of cornstarch. All right, throw the cornstarch in there. Then it asked for, let me kind of wipe this out, I don't want to put cornstarch and everything. Now it did say beef base. Now, I know you guys might have heard me on a different video. <clears throat> there are still even a lot of, um, a lot of different chemicals that are even in this beef base that's not the best. And one thing I don't like about the beef bases um, I don't know so much on that. I can't believe it's not um, bullion or whatever. I can't believe what it is. Um, but this is so incredibly salty. So when I do add the bullion cubes or the powder bullion, I never add salt because there is already so much salt. It's just crazy. So go ahead and throw that in there. And it's asking for... Um, Two tablespoons of paprika. All right. And one of parsley. All right. I am just going to throw just a little bit of onion powder in there because I like onions, even though it's going to have some diced onions. And it's going to have... Um, tablespoon of garlic powder. So, I mean, the flavor seems like it's going to be really good. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw a little bit of pepper. Now, obviously, you can salt and pepper it when you're cooking it, too. And then I'm going to do probably about one and a half teaspoons, tablespoons of my diced um, dehydrated onions. So, this is what it looks like before I shake it. 
go ahead and give it a little shake. Now, obviously, what you're going to do is be pulling this out. Um, you're going to cook your hamburger and then just like how you would with um, the hamburger helper, you are going to go ahead and um, just uh, dump this in there with some water and some milk. So I have a little bit of my beef broth that I used the other day. And I'm going to go ahead and use that in, in lieu of the water or add what difference there is and make that water. I think the um, the broth would make it a little bit, you know, a little bit better. I will also be using my own freeze-dried uh, mushrooms. Um, now, when I go to do this, um, if you don't watch this all the way through, so you're going to cook up your hamburger. Um, you know, drain the grease and everything like that. You're going to add one cup of water and a cup of milk and a half a cup and a cup of sour cream. But the sour cream is right before you serve it because if you put it in right away, it just like curls and it's just ucky. So you'll cook um, this for about 12 minutes on like a medium low heat or like a medium heat and preferably covered if you can. So I'm really looking forward to having this for dinner tonight. Um, hopefully this will pull together very good. Hopefully it'll be really super tasty. I'm always up for super <laughs> easy, super fast meals. And, it, you know, and if the thing is, if this does work, I mean, granted, you have to go out and buy, I mean, a lot of people have these, most of these spices here. Most of us have our bags of, of uh, egg noodles. You can pick those up pretty cheap. Um, but really, this can pull together, honestly, I mean, other than the meat. Um, but you have to buy the meat even if you bought the box. But this would probably pull together, I mean, even if you had to go out and buy all this stuff the first time, um, this is probably less than 50 cents. I mean, this is probably seriously 25 cents, you know? And I would rather pay 25 cents versus $2 for something. You, I mean, granted, you have, you know, what's in the noodles. Um, for chemicals wise and stuff like that but you're going to have a lot healthier meal this way even though technically pasta is not healthy and so on and so forth but you're going to have a lot healthier meal in the long run in like 25 cents versus you know two dollars or a dollar dice seven or a dollar fifty or whatever this in your state so um follow me along at dinner time and uh, we'll get this put together we'll look for that to be coming up in just a few minutes all right, those who know me know I pre-cook my hamburger and I freeze them into packages. Um, even when um, I would do it fresh, my husband and I made an agreement. It never did get one pound of beef per package. I just told him, I said, if I wanted a hamburger, I would just eat a hamburger. I'm not the big meat eater that he is. So we compromise. It's about three quarters of a pound. So, you know, you have to compromise so go ahead and get this in this pan down here and get that started now I did put the beef broth and the milk together there and what I'll just do is I'll use my little chopper thing to go ahead and break this up the rest of the way this is still just 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 a smidge <sighs> frozen Throw meat all over the floor and everything else. Should let that thaw out a little bit more. Where's the dog I don't have? <laughs> Hold on here. Let me find my watch right here. And no, we don't have any pets anymore, if anybody's wondering. Um, Gizmo passed earlier this year. Um, he was 19 and a half. And... His older brother, which they weren't really brothers, but they grew up together. Well, okay. Gizmo grew up with Whiskers. Um, Whiskers died two years ago in December. I guess this year would be three years. Um, and he was 18 and a half. So we had our boys both for a very, very long time. And at this point... The way the world is going and how hard it is to get cat food and, you know, how picky our boys got at the very end and we'll come up with all sorts of excuses. We're just not really in the mood at this point to get another pet. 
Um, I mean, eventually, maybe, I, but I really, really doubt it. It seems really nice when we want to get away on the weekend or something, and we don't have to say, okay, who's watching the cat, or, you know, will they have the separation anxiety that Whiskers had? It, 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 it's kind of crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and warm this up, um, get this going, and then we'll go ahead and get the rest of this started here. All right, so I think that's actually warmed up enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put the one cup of broth, or you could use um, you could use water. I just thought because I had some broth out that it might actually taste just a little bit better. Go ahead and get any of the uh, hamburger pieces off the bottom. Now, I was trying to figure out what to do for a lid. And I forgot I had bought this for um, my cast iron pans that don't have a lid for and it has the different sizes and I did check and it does fit this 11 inch fry pan so I will actually have a lid to use which is always a good thing so I'm gonna go ahead and open up that jar that I did earlier and go ahead and put that all in there go ahead and give that a little bit of a stir now, I do have my freeze-dried mushrooms, too, that I am going to want to, you know, that smells really good, that I'm going to want to put in there because, to me, you can't really have this meal without mushrooms. I mean, least, I mean, maybe you can. I just, I would like it better with mushrooms, so that's what I'm going to do. Just throw a few mushrooms in there. Now, obviously, if you had... Uh, dehydrated mushrooms or whatever you're gonna want to go ahead and reconstitute those before you put those in here or if you use fresh that would be fine too so I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit and I'm gonna come back and stir this every so often I'm gonna go ahead and get out the steamer and uh, see that works pretty nicely in there and you can still see what's going on so that makes it nice um, so I'll go get the steamer for the broccoli and we'll get that started. All right, and then what I'm gonna have here is I have my steamer that I actually got for review. And it comes with like a little steamer pan because it's plugged in, I didn't want to unplug it or anything. So what I'm just gonna do is put the steamer pan in there. There is some water, about like half a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with enough broccoli for us tonight. We go ahead and close this now this actually um, needs to be on seven minutes and then you just go ahead and hit start and it works really well and I don't know for sure if anybody has done this I was buying those I think 12 ounce bags well this is by far cheaper to do but the 12 ounce bags wasn't really fitting in here and we didn't, we always had some left over. So I went to the bigger bag, and this has lasted us, probably this is the fourth meal at least, and I still have enough for at least one whole meal. So that's a good thing too. Okay friends, those are done. And so what I'm gonna do is I turned off the heat. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit of sour cream. That probably would have been well, almost probably a half a cup, because that's that's an eight ounce jar of it. Go ahead and give this a stir. Get that all really nicely mixed in there. I mean, it looks and smells amazing. What I'll do is I'll let that cool off for a minute, because you all know I can't handle super hot food. Um, I'll shut this off for just a second here and um, I'll give you a quick little taste test. All right, I'm gonna take a noodle, I'll give you a little taste test here. That's really good. That's really, really good. I would definitely do this. We'll get this plated up, we'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll be done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and 
serve some of this up. I'll just be lazy and push it off to the side there. Now, obviously, as you can see, this would probably even be enough for either seconds or um, a third person. I mean, there's still enough left in there. And the broccoli is done. Let me push this up a little bit. You know me and my plating, it's not the best. And get the broccoli. Wonder why sometimes it has the leaves and stuff in there. You guys ever figure that out? This one. Oh, there's one more. All right. Put a little bit of butter on the broccoli. And this is homemade um, hamburger helper stroganoff, beef stroganoff with a hamburger. And then, of course, then it's got the meal in the jar. So let me know if you guys have ever done this. Um, do you want me to look up other meal in a jar type things? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.